during his speech here at Veterans Memorial Coliseum tonight, President Trump made no shortage of jabs at his Democratic challengers while praising Arizonans for the power they bring to the polls. You never know. That's why Lori Levine says she keeps her Red Cross certifications up to date. And now the Palm Beach County resident is being nationally recognized for her life-saving actions. It's during week two of Construction Academy that students will take their knowledge into the field. They'll work on dump trucks just like this one from the Arizona Department of Transportation and do safety checks for brakes, headlights, and measuring tire treads to guarantee safety on the road. There are a lot of benefits to enlisting in the Army, and it comes down to dollars and cents. When you compare a civilian police patrol officer job to that of a military police sergeant, the military sergeant makes nearly $10,000 more. One of the highlights of this morning's Arizona GOP State Committee meeting, keeping Arizona and the United States voting red. Homeowners in Boynton Beach are concerned about the safety issues caused by boaters flying through canals just like this one. And now they want police to do something about it. Going forward, everything you're doing that has to do with your license is being tracked. Rain three days. This isn't Natasha Reeder's first day of school. She received her bachelor's degree less than a decade ago, but the Iowa native is learning a new trade. Other CDL rules. At the Arizona Department of Transportation's Construction Academy. I wish I would have had a specialized degree and then went and got my four-year degree. Since opening doors in 2014, 35% of Construction Academy graduates have been women. Across the nation, they make up 10% of construction jobs. This year, ADOT is zeroing in on bringing diversity to job sites, with a course exclusively for women. You can do anything you want to do by seeing someone who move like you or someone who have the same aspirations of being from here to there. If you can bake a cake, you can drive a truck. When okay. students head outside, what else are we checking for on the next on the list? They're up close and personal with ADOT equipment and after receiving certifications and commercial driver's licenses, they're ready to hit the road. Starting salaries are between $14 and $24 an hour, so you can make some good money and then have a very long career as well. While Reader says she appreciates her college education, she feels there's a sense of financial security in the trades. For you to get on the job training and to get paid for it, like a paid internship, that's rare. That makes more sense so you can move on with your life. And the construction industry will need these new graduates. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, jobs in the construction industry will grow 11% by 2028. There's room for opportunity, room for growth, if you will, from different aspects of construction as a whole. Construction is not just digging a shovel or using a broom. You have so many avenues you can pursue by being in the construction industry. In Phoenix, Danielle Malkin, Cronkite News. Ten-minute review, stand up and ground, ready, set. 28-year-old Nikki Bustamante was looking for answers. Good. When she hit the mat at Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Being alone, that was the scariest thing. That I was battling with just the what ifs. What if something happened and I wasn't big enough or strong enough? So. Nikki is not alone in her fear. One in four women have experienced domestic violence in their lifetime, and in 2015, 107 Arizonans were killed as a result of it. Students of Women Empowered are looking that reality in the face. And we need to break those walls down. We need to get real open and real real with each other and talk about what this really looks like. Doreen Nicholas has worked with domestic violence survivors for nearly three decades. She says there's no quick fix for a solution. So we've got a really dig deep and look at the underpinnings of this cultural violence that, that we live in. Um, if we don't address the issues of oppression, if we don't address racism, homophobia, sexism, um, all those other ways that people are oppressed, financial oppression, um, we're not going to get very far with this issue. As for Nikki, she's out muscled comfort with her newest weapon. Squeeze and she will tap. Confidence. I feel safer learning every move that I've learned. I feel safer. The what ifs are, I have answers to those what ifs. Reporting for 330 News, I'm Danielle Malkin. Bring me down and then she's gonna go after. Doors open at the ICM Food and Clothing Bank in South Phoenix at 9 a.m. to patrons in search of a meal and those looking for work. But on this Wednesday, 
the delivery of a benediction. Palm leaves of last year's Palm Sunday. In the form of ash. It's the earth, it's creation, it represents that, and that um, the more uh, our, as our bodies eventually will t return to that dust, uh, it's just a reminder that that is part of our journey of life. Ashes to Go has humble roots, dating back to Chicago in 2010. For those receiving ashes today in Phoenix, we shall return. It was an opportunity to renew their faith. It's refreshing uh, for my soul, you know. I love the Lord, you know, and daily, you know, I pray and I ask God to lead me and guide my footsteps on a daily basis as I go through life in the community. In the rush of modern day, an early trip to church is the last thing some people are thinking about. That you are dust and to dust you shall return. You're welcome. But when Deacon Ritson offers the ashes, With God's love and blessing, remember that you are dust. She believes in the ability to bring that sacred moment. In Jesus' holy name. Thank you much. You're welcome. To the people. We are offering a blessing and we are offering God's love.